guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. I have my same coffee because I just filmed another haul that you've either already seen or you're going to see. I just have a lot of stuff and I need to knock these out for you so you can get them. Uh, this is my mug today. Oh, and it's a mug that turns colors when it's hot. So if you see around the handle, it's cooling off. And so my kitty cats will go away. And one of you lovely ladies sent this to me. Mm. I need coffee tonight to keep myself going. Guys, it's been busy. I've got a bunch of DIYs in my head that I would like to do. But if you all don't know, I work a full-time job and a part-time job. And, you know, keep house and do my YouTube channel. So I'm just kind of crazy busy. But I love every minute of it. And I would not... I have a cramp in my arch. I would not change it for anything. And I'm working Thursday night, so I gotta get these videos done. So thank you for bearing with me. Uh, no order here whatsoever. I've got a hodgepodge of stuff. So let's get started. I found the snowflake, and I liked the snowflake, or star, or whatever you want it to be. So I bought it no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I love these. And I feel like the bigger ones, like the bell and the, the bell and the ornament, I have a DIY coming up and they're going to become something fun. So if you have them, hold off on them. Um, I, oh, I showed, I bought the scrubbing bubbles on the last one, but this one is just straight bleach. And I don't think it's blue. So I think this is going in my basement toilet, which I never go down there, so it won't turn my toilet blue. I, I don't know. I thought I would share with you my toilet woes. I won't tell you that story again. You have to go watch the other video. Okay. I grabbed one of these white faux fur mufflers. I'm going to show you what it is. So it is goes around your neck, keeps you warm. If you have a big head, it can go around your head. Um, I'm using it on a DIY because this is the perfect fake fur. If you wanna make a, yourself a fun gnome, grab some of this. This is great faux fur. Um, and on the inside, it's super soft fleece. So you can really get a lot of mileage out of one of these DIY version. You can also just wear it if that's how, how you roll, but I grabbed it to take apart. <laughs> so I got this in white. I know they come in gray and black. I don't know what other colors. I didn't really pay attention. I just saw the white and said, um, I need you. I should have grabbed the black too, but I needed the white for a very specific reason. And it'll be a DIY that is coming up shortly, like in the next week, week and a half. I know these came out last year, but my store never got them. Guys, I, hey, I'm a little obsessed. Let me just do this the right way. This is the berry garland, except for it's not berries, it's jingle bells. And I saw, let's do our thumbnail. I saw other people hauling these last year and I was Jelly McGelaton. So I went to Joanne and bought some. Sure did. Um, and they were not a dollar. They were $4 and I got a half price and I think you get more and they were white. So they weren't the same thing, but I grabbed two red and two gold. They also came in green and red. So it was a green and red set and a silver set. I'm into gold and red right now. So this is what I purchased for those that listen. Ugh, I love them. So I grabbed some jingle bells because I mean, duh. the cat is looking at me like, where are the, my toys? Toys right here, buddy. Here is his sad little toy. Let me tell you, this is a small little ball, right? It's tiny and it has a bell and he is obsessed with this thing. I have hunted high and low. I bought the bigger ones. He will not, he, it, this thing is wet. He wants to carry it around in his mouth, which is fine, but I'm trying to find more and I can't. So now he's going to chase it all over the house and have a good old time with it. And that's how he rolls. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh. Um, guys, if you're, let me take this lid off. If you're thinking 
coffee bar or um, hot cocoa bar for the holidays or any type of storage. Look at this sleek jar. And it mat the lid matches. It's the same as the little candy jars. I'm thinking that this is filthy. It's going to go to the dishwasher, the jar, not the lid. Put this next to that little candy jar, get a couple of them, and you've got a perfect coffee or hot cocoa bar. I just talked to my coworker, and we're having our holiday party here at my condos at my um, pool house because we're allowed to use it. And I'm like, we're going to have a coffee and a hot cocoa bar. And I started buying materials. I will use them for other things, so I'm not buying it specifically for that. But these are perfect. Get the little scoops, get the tongs, put some candy canes in here, some big marshmallows in here. You know, there's a million ways you could set it up. So I grabbed two of them, but I was impressed that the lids matched. So I don't have to do anything as far as um, matching them, but ugh, you do have to wash it. Like it's so greasy. I don't know why all their glassware comes in like that, but it does. I found two of these. Look at these they're little crates. And they do have a hanger on them. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these, but somebody will know and then I can get some ideas. But I just grab the two because I don't know. Now, oh, ooh, I do know. If you bought those wooden apples, you could put some of the hay in here, paint it up and put those little tiny apples in here and it's an apple barrel. I'm just saying. There, now I know what I, I might do with it. Also, I know some folks are making lanterns. You could make a small lantern. It is solid on the sides, but. I don't know I thought it was adorable and I thought there was a lot of potential and sometimes you just have to buy things because there's potential involved so I grabbed two of those and that's all I picked up of the of those was two um in the beauty section I found they I love these nail wraps and this is a this is not green briar it is B color but look at this. I thought for summertime, the watermelon and then the little flowers. And they also have like a line, but it was almost like an avocado green. I found it very off-putting. But for summer, I think these are going to be so much fun. I'll just throw them in with my nail polish stuff. I mean, this is definitely summer. But I loved the little flowers. And then the this is like a white holographic glitter and then the blue. So I think these are fun. You get 12 pieces. So, and with these nail stickers, you can file them down if they're too big for your nail and kind of force them to fit, opposed to like a, um, a press on nail or a glue on nail, which you don't want to do that. But these are fun. And you know, I love stuff like this. So I grabbed those and then I saw this cuticle remover, but I got it, I got it for the cuticle pusher. I try not to cut my cuticles but it has the t end on there that you can push your cuticles back. And I thought that would be a great um, addition to my manicure kit, like my basket with all my nail stuff, uh, because this will help, you know, get your cuticles back. And you can also use this little thing. I know people who do um, silicone molds use something similar. <laughs> it's sharp in there, but I grabbed one. If you have a, if you find like they also have the cuticle remover, you can put together a little manicure set for somebody. I would appreciate it. Um, I picked up one of these just to craft with. It's got the beads, and what I liked about it is that comes out of the back, so I don't have to go busting it out. And there is, I believe, glass on the front, but um, I didn't get it for this. I got it just to upcycle at some point. I don't know when. I I buy so much stuff to do, and then it. I get, <laughs> then I end up donating it, which I'm actually calling a local nursing home down the street for me to see if their activities person is interested in any of my overflow when I clean out my office at the end of the Christmas season, because I will have a lot of stuff to give. Um, sorry, clacker. Take one. Take one. Like what the heck? I need this in my office. I'm going to have to put a stand on it. And then maybe I'll write here, you know, like roll one, scene one, take one, director, camera, date. And my crazy life. How fun is that? 
Like, where are you going to find a clacker? If you don't know what a clacker is, they use these in movies. So when they go and they, they'll put on here the information and they show it on screen and then they do that. And that's how they can break up how many scenes when they're scanning through. I'm just going to annoy you all with it. I needed that in my life. Okay. That was important. I only got one. I know, Alex. I found a couple pieces of eucalyptus and this one is in a darker and lighter because I think this is more winter if I had to guess but it just well it's fall just says eucalyptus it was part of their fall line but I love buying these and I cut them off individually and glue them onto things so having little pieces of greenery around the house is always fantastic for when you're DIYing anything and you want to give it a little something something you can also just plop this in a vase I mean it's pretty I love greenery. I love greenery. So I have that. Guys, I have a lot of stuff. I grabbed a roll of this. This is clear shelf liner. You get a yard and a half. If you have a Cricut or any type of vinyl cutting machine, this is fantastic transfer tape. I refuse to spend the money on like Cricut brand transfer tape because you literally throw it away. It just transfers your sticky, it's your, put your sticky on it, your cut out, and it transfers it to your project so nothing moves. Literally, that's what you do, and then you throw it away. I mean, you can use it a couple times, but you're still not doing anything with it. But this works fantastic. It's not overly sticky. You have to fuss with it a little bit sometimes, depending on how, you know, the surface that you're trying to adhere to. But I never have an issue, and I use it all the time. And all my stores don't carry it, so I was, I opened my last roll the other day, so I'm like, I'll just grab another. I will tell you, it is 15, in, 18 inches by a yard and a half. This will last me a very long time. But it's also not something that you want to run out of if you're crafting like that. Our store finally got these signs. They have this one that says home, and then they have one that says love. I feel like this is very spring with the green on here, although I, I will definitely add a little something to that, but I liked it and I liked the size. It's not too large for a nice shelf. Um, so this will probably go out in my spring decor because I do feel this is, I mean, it could be any time, but I feel like for me, when I'm decorating my house, I will pull this out at spring. So I grabbed it because I like it. But that needs to go into the garage because it's not going to be for Christmas. Um, I grabbed some of this vase filler in the gold. And I'm going to tell you, this stuff has fallout like nobody's business. So you pour this right into where you want it and do not cross, do not pass go. Like what I would do is cut it right here at the bottom and just pour it in wherever it needs to go because this is a glitter bomb but I love it it's sparkly and it's fantastic so I got it in gold but I feel like I might have gotten another color as well and then I for one a, pro a project I have so I'm gonna do a video of a bunch of little things and I needed uh, some glitter so I grabbed some gold glitter paint I don't know how well it's gonna work but we're gonna try it the other thing we can do is take Mod Podge and mix fine glitter in it. And the Dollar Tree actually sells both of those products, but it's just messy. So I'm gonna try using this Craft Your Square Tempera Paint in the gold. I mean, it looks glittery. It looks like it should work. I don't know. We're gonna find out together. Because yes, my colors are black and red, but I always add like some sparkle and some gold to it. Oh, I, need to, I found the other one of those. So I did get two of the, ugh, I need to wash these. I do not know what is all over these jars when they come out of their boxes, but they're nasty. I'll run them through my dishwasher, but I did get two of this size and I got two of the like candy jars, the small candy jars. So maybe one day I'll make a new coffee bar. Right now I'm loving my copper, but who knows? I don't know guys. I do know that this is nasty. <laughs> Can I say that one more time? This is nasty. I'm going to go through it in my dishwasher. Um, speaking of my kitchen, finally, finally, I cannot tell you how long I've been looking for this container in white or clear. In my refrigerator right now, I have green. 
it's fine it's okay but it's green and I want it white or clear and what I do and one of them I put my lunch meats like pepperoni or whatever my lunch meats are for that week and then the other one I put my bag cheese and it stands up right in here and they're on a shelf I got four because I want two for my craft room plus I'll take the green ones up and then they have the handles so when I want lunch meat or cheeses I just pull them out and it keeps everything well organized in my refrigerator. And my stores always have the red, the green, they even have black at one point, but I want, I want it clear or I want it white and I'm so happy to have found them. And then the other ones will go up in my craft room. I like to keep, um, I have a shelf in my closet and these are working out great for all the wooden die cuts that we're buying lately that I, so I can just pull out a season. So I'll keep, um, I have one with all my fall, Halloween's giving cutouts in it. And then I will have one that has all my Christmas cutouts. And then they just sit on a shelf. And when I want to do a DIY, I can just pull them out. And then I'm not rebuying everything because I will be able to see. So I was super happy to find these. Um, the white, these clear ones, they run through my dishwasher too before they go in my refrigerator. I won't wash the ones that I'm using for crafting. But if it's going to be around food, I feel like it's, you know, you need to, you need to do things. Um, I grabbed two more Biscoff cookies for my goodie, for my goodie um, baskets that I'm putting together because I know people really will enjoy these. And if I have company come over, I can pull out some of these cookies and to make them some coffee or tea or hot chocolate and we can enjoy, they can enjoy a cookie and I can have coffee. But I like, I know they come in bigger packaging at the store and probably a better deal but for gift baskets this is the perfect size because you get six little individual packages of two so if i put one or two of these in a gift basket they can you know enjoy two cookies at one time i also grabbed one more of this and i think i got the, the other one but i have to find it but this is the one that I, I just think needs to be a coaster. So we're gonna do that. This is a DIY I have coming up in my little video. I already had one, but I needed another. And also for my little goodie baskets, I grabbed some pistachios. These are a great brand. They're wonderful pistachios. These are the shell on. You don't get a huge amount in here, but you get enough. And I think it would be great in a, in a basket, in a gift basket with some food. Um, you know, nuts, candies, whatever. And I like the height on these as well. So when you put them in the basket, if you fill this up and you, it'll stick up a little higher. I won't use that size basket for sure, but. So I grabbed two of those. And what I typically do at the holidays is I will take a basket of some sort and I will put all of the candies and I will have my Christmas candy video I do every year coming up. However, I can't do it because it's not out yet. And I think I have more candy around here somewhere. The girl that was ringing me out wasn't real happy to be working. Which I don't typically run into that, so I'm not trying to be mad about it. Anyway, so what I do, here it is, and I don't want these broken. I also found Giardelli, which this we know is a name brand. And again, a dollar for one may not be a good price point, but I don't need a whole bag of them. I'm gifting a little bit of caramel to a friend. And honestly, two little, two of these is perfectly fine. And it's four pieces of candy. So, although thank you lady who threw my stuff in the bag, she cracked that one, but it'll be okay. So I'm getting all different brands of chocolate and caramel for a friend. Okay, so what I do, back to what I do, I get a basket bigger than this, and I try to keep all of the candy and food that I buy for gift basket making together in one place. So then when I go to make the gifts, the gift baskets, everything is together, and I can just grab out of that one spot, and I'm not hunting all over my house for gift basket ingredients, and I know what I bought for who that makes sense like I know if it's caramel it's from my my friend 
Just saying. All right, we just have a couple more things here. I grabbed another one of this as well. So now I have two of the ornaments and two of the bells. And I think that's fantastic. And we're gonna do some fun stuff with those. I grabbed a couple more of these. And by a couple, I think five. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not sure yet. Part of my mind says do some kind of like modern collage and glue a bunch of them together and then put some little tiny ones on. Part of me says put some command Velcro on the back of a few and just stick them on a wall. And then part of me says, girl, put them back at the store because you don't need any of this mess. So I'm not sure what's going to happen, but something is going to happen with a bunch of snowflakes because, well, I have a bunch of snowflakes. So I can make a huge wall decor, wall display <laughs> with all these snowflakes. I'm also going to have to go buy a whole can of white spray paint because I'm not individually painting those. I will spray paint. I'll get two cans of white and spray paint them all. It definitely is not, I'm not individually painting all of those snowflakes. It's going to be bad enough that I have to individually go through and fill these holes. <laughs> That's going to be bad enough depending what I decide to do with all the snowflakes or they're going to end up at the nursing home. I don't know. All right. I have three things left. Um, I did buy these in red. So I have them in red and gold, which I think is fun. Um, probably they're going to go in plastic ornaments or a plastic ornament for sure. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Maybe. I grabbed some red felt. One of the projects I'm doing, I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna come together. So I grabbed the white, the red felt roll. And uh, this is 11.75 inches across and it's two feet long. So that's plenty of red felt for what I need. But then I also bought this, which is covered in glitter, but I just grabbed Christmas house, cheap stocking, but I love the red on here for my project. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alex, you wanna say hi? Here, you can see him do this. Ready? Ready? Go get it. <laughs> you got your ball? He said your ball in your mouth. Oh, yeah, you want me to play? We play fetch. And he said, okay, I'm done. <laughs> These cats of mine are a lot of enjoyment for the single lady. All right, that's everything I have to show you. I hope you enjoy these hauls and I will talk with you later.